Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Lisa. Today I created this fun look using new makeup from BH Cosmetics. Um, I used this Belgian waffle um, highlighter and contour palette and I used this Avocado Toast eyeshadow palette. This palette is great. It's got um, lots of greens, shimmers, and mattes. So if you're a fan of green eyeshadow, keep on watching. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Lisa. It's been a few days since I have filmed. Um, I just, I don't know, I was kind of lacking some motivation, but I am back. Um, but during that time, I wasn't lacking motivation of um, getting some new makeup. I, each day I was like either running to um, a store or I was getting packages in the mail. So lots of new makeup. Um, I have been kind of debating over what I want to do because I'm super excited about a lot of the new makeup that I've received. Um, and actually, as I'm sitting here filming this, I was like, ooh, okay, I'm gonna do, um, gonna do something I wasn't planning to do, I think. Um, oh, I'm just like, I'm so torn, I'm so torn. Um, I kind of, okay. All right, I, I have it. All right, I'm gonna do, I wanted to do the Natasha Denona uh, new bronze palette, but I feel like I want to also do something um, with some affordable makeup. So I did receive a while back these uh, BH Cosmetics palettes, and this is like the brunch line or something like that. And brunch is like my all time favorite meal ever. I love brunch. There's this one that's called avocado toast and it's very much you know a bunch of greens very earthy and because I'm kind of wearing this sage green shirt today I was like well maybe maybe it's a good time for some avocado toast you know so I think that's the look we're gonna go for today so I'm going to just go with um, the Ren skincare just applying this you know, I like my sunscreen, so important. I've actually even been wearing a little um, kind of uh, full sleeve topper of sorts and a scarf to protect my neck when I'm um, out and about or when I'm driving. I know I probably look like some kind of freak being all bundled up like it's the winter time, but in a way it's important to protect your skin and I do a lot of driving around. We don't realize how much we're exposed to the sun uh, just driving around in our cars. So we've sunscreened, we're gonna prime. I did manage to pull out a, um, a drugstore primer. This is the Revlon Photo Ready. This has been out forever. I don't have that many drugstore primers. We're gonna start with that. Let's just kind of lightly tap and start applying this to the inner part of my face and work it outwards. We're gonna go with the Catrice HD Liquid. I haven't used this in ages and ages. This is in the shade 032 Nude Beige. Just start applying and see what we end up with. This is a nice sponge. I was a little skeptical at first, but I, this is, I think this is softer than a beauty blender. So it seems a bit light. I think it'll be okay though once, you know, bronzer and everything gets on my face. But definitely, definitely a little bit bright. While this foundation itself is very pretty, I don't think the primer did me any favors. I'll be honest, I don't think the primer did me any favors. I haven't really found a drugstore primer that I'm just in love with that I think is as good as a, and I used to think primer was overrated. I was like, who needs to spend that much on primer? And I still don't think you need to spend $60 on primer, but investing in a good primer um, is worthwhile, I think. I'm not gonna say it's like an absolute necessity because you know, nothing with makeup is a necessity. I mean, the only necessities is what shelter, food, and air, or something like that. I'm gonna use the Physician's Formula um, Organic Wear Sculpting Bronzer. This is drugstore, and this is a great bronzer. Not even just for drugstore, it's just a great bronzer. Same thing for that Catrice Foundation. That's not, that's not a great foundation just for drugstore, it's a great foundation. 
I would totally recommend that to somebody. Just to start blending that in, maybe with some little circles, maybe with some little swipes. Just kind of go back and forth. And then if I ever want to kind of start moving it around, I will flick it upwards a little bit, but just super lightly. Nothing crazy. This is a really great, um, this is a really great contour stick. I will, I don't know if there's another drugstore contour stick like this. I don't think there is. Physicians Formula really hit it out of the park with this one. All right, and we're pushing that back towards the hairline. You don't, the last thing you want to be looking up with your contour is to be see a big old gap between your hairline and your uh, contour. That doesn't look natural at all. All right. So we're going to go in with the Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer, which is one of my favorites. And of course, it's got that, ooh, ooh, it's got that wonderful kind of um, suntan lotion scent. And I'm just going to give this a little swirly swirl, pop off. We're just gonna deepen that, deepen that blush. Now, even though this looks sort of matte, it does have a shimmer to it. So don't use this on your nose. I just wanna say that right now. Don't use it on your nose. Uh, Cause I've done that before and guess what? I had like a really kind of weird looking shiny nose thing happening. Um, so don't do that. <laughs> Learn from my mistakes. Oh, I didn't tell you all the shade. This is in um, deep, bronzer this is the deeper one they have one that's just called bronzer and um this one's called deep bronzer so this is a slightly darker one i'm glad i'm glad a couple of years ago they did ex expand the shade range on these which is nice you know physicians formula used to only have like two shades of stuff and they're doing a little bit better um i did get a new oh here we go maybelline age rewind and i took the little wrappery thing off of here so this one's in the shade 120 light. I don't know, that might work because this foundation's a little bit lighter. Um, the Catrice concealer is also quite good and has a really pretty, um, a really pretty, see how it's just starting to come out on the tip like that. That's, you don't want it to like be fully out you just because then you'll have too much. Anyway, the Catrice concealer is also very good. It has a really pretty finish. Not doing too too much um because i don't want it to be too heavy just just a little something something i'm gonna go in with this cutie here look how how cute that guy is so this is baby sponge baby bear baby sponge and we're just gonna see how well this works it's like a lot of work to get into these larger areas to work in these larger areas I'm gonna switch sponges and then go into Mama Bear because she's still got some foundation on her and I think that will help this uh, concealer blend out easier. I think we're doing well, don't you think? I mean, with the affordable makeup, I'm kind of, I'm kind of impressed with myself. Okay, I need to set my concealer and I'm gonna use this Catrice um, Prime and Fine Luminizing Power, and it is waterproof, and it is a radiant beige. There you go, and let me open this up. You can see what that looks like. Um, being that it's summertime, it doesn't hurt my feelings that this is waterproof, because if I sweat a bit, hopefully it will help my makeup stay in place. Do a little pat pat in those areas. I think that's nice. It's kind of got a little bit of a powdery finish, but I, I think it'll be okay. So um, we are gonna use this avocado palette because I'm wearing kind of this greeny blouse. And then um, in the spirit of using affordable things, I'm gonna use the Milani um, eyeshadow primer which is a known dupe for the Urban Decay Primer Potion. The only thing, oh 
gosh, you know me. I have to, you know, I, I can't just be happy. I don't like how it doesn't have a little applicator. I hate, I don't like how I have to like apply it to my finger and then it just is like a little extra step to the makeup that I don't really need. I mean, you apply it and then like here, you're kind of applying and spreading at the same time. So I don't know if it's really an extra step because otherwise you'd apply with the applicator and then you'd have, still have to use your finger to kind of spread it out. So maybe it's not an extra step, maybe. Huh. It's incredibly affordable though compared to the Urban Decay Primer Potion. So that's that. And then we're gonna go into this guy here, Mr. Avocado Toast. Do y'all like avocado toast? I feel like avocado toast is one of those things that's like kind of, like you either like it or you don't like it. I guess you have to like avocado to begin with. So this is, this is the palette. Look how pretty that is. And then it does have a mirror inside. So what are we gonna start with? I'm gonna go with the greens. I'm gonna go for it. I'm gonna go into avo toast, avo toast. That's so hip sounding. And then I'll have the avo toast. And um, we're just gonna do a swirly swirl and go into this, see what happens. Of course, this is just our very first kind of color lay down for the rest of our look. So it's got that really pretty wash of green. Okay. This green color, I feel like we're starting to get that green zombie ghoul look, but I'm gonna make this look super cute. That's my goal. A lot of these eye looks start out looking crazy. And then, you know, just kind of blend this out a little bit. This is our initial base layer color, so I'm not expecting too, too much from it. It's not patchy or anything. Now we're going to go into Ripe. I hope that's the color I was originally going to go into, but we went into Avo Toast right next to it. But now I'm going to go into Ripe, which is kind of a bit of a brighter green color, and try to establish another shade of green on the eyes. Ooh. I don't do these kind of colorful looks very often. I was so inspired by this palette. Okay. Hmm. Okay, it's a bit, I mean, it really is kind of reading brighter and I was kind of looking for something more um, deeper, but um, I think We'll make it work. We will make it work. We've got lots of colors. That's the nice thing. I mean, there's actually like several. One, two, three, four, five. There's like five or six greens in here to work with. So it's not like we're, this can, this has to be our main color. Now, I'm, I feel like it's a little too bright. So I'm gonna go back in with Avo Toast on the same brush. And I'm just gonna go over that, but like over the edge between Avo Toast and this um, Ripe. Just to kind of bring that down a little bit. Because it is pretty bright. It's a pretty bright green. Almost an emerald green, almost. But I like it because it kind of is keeping the look from getting Muddy, I think. That's kind of the danger when you're using these greens. They can go muddy on you. Hmm. I almost, I almost feel like we we're having like a Wizard of Oz Wicked vibe with this emerald green. Um. I want to go into ripe that brighter green again. I just want to bring it under the eye a little bit because I do want to keep some of that brightness in here, even though we're trying to tone down the brightness. Maybe I should have mixed the avo and the ripe together. Maybe that would have created the perfect green that I was looking for. I'm just going along the underside of the eye with this. What do we think? Yeah, that's totally reading um, Wizard of Oz. Wizard of Oz green. Okay, let's see here. I'm gonna just do a bit of blending out. 
see what happens before I add anything. And then I'm gonna go into this deep kind of olive army green called Superfood right here. And I'm gonna put this on the outer V color or corner. Just deepen that up. And I actually think that's a good balance for this bright green because it kind of makes it a little more grounded, not as whimsical, but the bright green really keeps it from looking too muddy. I'm, I'm actually, I'm actually perfectly okay with this bright green. It's kind of my fear going into this palette was that it was going to look muddy. Again, we're going into that outer V area and then just kind of taking it out, kind of like a little sunbeam. And I'm actually gonna go back and forth between ripe and avocado. We're gonna go into superfood, back into superfood, this kind of very deep olivey green. And I'm just gonna go into the inner corner like this. I went ahead and I swatched um, the shimmers on here just to decide, decide what I wanted to do. So the one um, on, this, on this far side here, that is called Haas, as in the avocado Haas, and it's kind of a yellowy um, green. And then Extra is the one right next to it, and that's kind of that one that's kind of got that brown, blue, or brown green shift. And then the next one to that is called Green Juice, it's that lighter green color. And then the end one is called Lemon Pepper, and it's kind of kind of got a goldy, um, goldy yellow or goldy green shift. So I'm gonna actually go in with Green Juice, and because I think that one kind of is more, um, will play nicer. I mean, any of these would play well with the look that we've got going, but I just want to see what happens if we go in with green juice and do a bit of a halo eye. So I'm just patting this onto the center part of the lid. So that's green juice. So pretty. That's a really pretty color. But I want to kind of just spotlight and brighten that a little bit. So I'm going to go over it with um, lemon pepper and see what happens because that is kind of a brighter color. Ooh, yeah, I'm into that. Okay. I'm going to go back into this guy and see if we can just. Tone that down a little bit. And I'm going to go into Over Easy, this kind of yellowy color, and I'm going to take this along the edges. just to kind of create a bit of a frame for this look. 
and I'm bringing it right to the edge of where the green starts and working that in. I think it's going to help tone down the green a bit and like I said just kind of create a fresh gradient frame. Take a uh, lemon pepper and just kind of go on the under part, just in the middle part of the eye, just to bring some light to the some light to the party. Sort of duplicating what we're doing at the top. And I do have these little uh, Morphe trios. And this one's called Pop of Coral, and it's not quite as um, as bright. So I think I'm gonna go with this one today. Let's compare Pop of Peach and Pop of Coral. Okay, so there's this is Pop of Peach, and this is Pop of Coral. So I may do like a little mixture of both, just to give a little bit of definition to the cheek. So I'm gonna go into Influencer on this one, and unapologetic on this one. These are more kind of um, neutral toned. And I just think for for the eye, we want the eye to kind of, you know, be the star of the show. And put this on, yeah, I like that, I like that a lot. There we go, very nice. And then we're gonna look at Belgian Waffle and see what's in here for Belgian Waffle. This is a highlighter palette. Again, I haven't opened this yet, so I don't know. Ooh, okay. This looks like it's actually, yeah, it's a bronzer and highlighting palette. So look how beautiful that is. So we have our bronzers up here. It looks like you could do a bit of pressed powder contour here and then these three highlighters there. So yes, 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 yes on this cinnamon and kind of work it between the blush and the, um, the, the contour. And just kind of make that a little more neutral looking. That is super pigmented. Look at that. Did you see how quickly that did that? Okay. So I'm gonna need to do a little blendy blendy job. I think, there we go. I'm just gonna tone that down a little bit. with that and then um, we're just, I'm gonna take that cinnamon again. Just come up here on the forehead. Oof, this is nice, this is a nice palette. Wow, okay. And I'm gonna go into syrup, that's the center one right here, syrup. I'm just gonna do a little swirl, swirl, tap, tap. And I'm gonna start on the nose, see what happens. A little something, maybe not as strong as I would like. Let's see if we can build that up. Oh, okay, well, it can be built up. See that? Do I look very kind of Rudolph-y? Back into syrup, just in the high point of the cheek here. Oh, whoa. Do y'all see that? Ooh. A little bit here, a little here. Just kind of where you think the sun might kind of hit you and create a little bit of, you know, a little bit of something, something. Okay, and then um, I'm gonna go into powdered sugar and just do a little teensy bit under the brow bone, just to lift the brow bone a little bit. This is like not quite at, oh, well, maybe, maybe I'm, I spoke too early. I guess we can use this guy and go into syrup and just do a little inner corner something just to catch the light. So I think that's that. I think we need to do a super neutral lip. So I'm gonna go in with this Milani uh, Keep It Full Gloss. It doesn't have much pigmentation and I think we're just gonna do it just a little something.
Matte Fix Plus going. Oh, that was not drugstore. I should have used something else. All right, sorry about that. But I am gonna use this Maybelline Glass Spray as a uh, finishing spray. Hmm. It's actually, okay, it's not like the most aggressive spray, but it's also not the most gentle spray. It's not bad. Um, and it's actually quite, uh, has a really nice scent to it, a nice kind of fresh scent. So this is the finished look. Um, I don't know, what do you guys think? It's a bit, it's a bit bolder than my usual look, but um, I think the pigmentation of the palettes is really lovely. I can't wait to use the Mimosa and um, the Bellini palettes in another look, but I just think this is, this is a really nice look. Um, what makeup is all about, changing it up and trying new things. So thanks for joining me today, guys. I really appreciate it. If you enjoyed this look, if you wanna see me use the um, Bellini and the Mimosa look, or you wanna see other drugstore affordable looks, let me know. Please comment in the, in the comment section, like the video, and um, as always, uh, I would love it if you subscribed. Thanks a lot, and you guys have a great day. Bye-bye.